All right, it's May 14th, 2022. We're in Marion, North Carolina for the Western North Carolina Bigfoot Festival. You're looking at the Marion Community Building right now. Just to give you a little reference, if you're ever to come to Marion and want to go to this festival, this is on one end of Main Street. That's where we're going to start. Now it's looking out of town, and here's your welcome to Marion sign with Bigfoot right on top. So we're going to turn here today and get to walking through here. It hadn't even started yet. It starts at 10, and people are already up and down through here. It's about 15 minutes to 10, so I think it's going to get crowded. It was supposed to rain, but the sun is out, and I think it's going to be a great day. Yeah, they got vendors all up and down through here in the center of the street, and I imagine their stores will be open too. Got a little boutique vendor right here on the side as you first walk in. Got some landscaping I'm traversing here, as you can see. <clears throat> what I think I'm going to do is just walk through to give you a full layout of the area, and then we'll come back through and we'll do a deep dive into some of these booths see what they got to offer and join the search Bigfoot's gonna be everywhere today with a lot of vendors selling clothes Bigfoot items food you got playhouse a general festival vendor style event you have all over the country we have one in Lexington called the Lexington barbecue festival and his theme is all around barbecue and they got old pig sculptures everywhere other people have pickle festivals, peach festivals, apples, and so on. And Marion has decided they want to do a Bigfoot festival. And they have embraced it fully from what I hear. The legend. Yeah, got some playhouses over there for people. Mothman's even Decided to set up shop here. We'll check him out later. Got some mugs with Bigfoot on it. Pork rinds. <laughs> They're gonna have it all. Big Egg Creations. We'll check them out here in a little bit. Let's just do this full through, walk through. Give you a layout of the land. Be aware, pictures may be posted on social media, and that's for sure. That's what, exactly what I'm going to do. <laughs> there, you're looking out of town there on one of their side streets. We have done a town center video for Marion. If you want to check that out, you can find that, uh, that under my Cities and Towns playlist for North Carolina. <clears throat> hey, Bigfoot sleeping right there. <laughs> yeah, a lot of these vendors got Bigfoot items, so you'll have plenty to choose from. Got an EMS over there, jewelry. Got a little fairy floss you can get right here at Exxon. <clears throat> sugar skull, sugar skull hot sauce. Carolina tea and soda. I haven't seen any prices yet, but I imagine they're gonna be high. There's somebody carrying a big foot piece of artwork he done bought. This thing's big from what I can tell so far. Let's switch over and take a take a look at this side as we're going. There's a little a little amphitheater they got to play music in. Yeah, it's gonna get crowded because <laughs> if it, it I still think it's probably just right before 10. It starts at 10. <clears throat> Excuse me. McDowell Local. Good restaurant here in town. Yeah, Bigfoot. It's a big tourist draw from this area. And you'll have these Bigfoot festivals all over the country. People love Bigfoot and people have found out found a way to make money off of Bigfoot and you end up getting festivals like this I think it's a lot of fun there's a lot of believers in Bigfoot as well 
I mean, they believe he's out there. I'm a, one of those people I have to see it and believe it, whether it's aliens, ghosts, or whatever, but I like to come here and have fun believing and thinking about what it would be like if you I did see one. All kinds of shirts there for you. All right. <laughs> oh, little Bigfoot, little stubby little legs. General store, t-shirts. You know what? You know what time it is? What time? What time is it? Nine forty-six. <laughs> I told you, don't start till 10, but people said we're starting early. I think they were worried it was going to rain this afternoon, so they're going to get a jump on everything. There's some of the buildings we looked at in our town center video. Yeah, I don't wear a watch. And my, I filmed with my phone, so I didn't have no way to know what time it was. Let's keep going. This thing's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. You got your Anderson trying to sell some windows here. <clears throat> Put the sunglasses on. All right. I think we're getting to the other end of it. Right here at Henderson in Maine. I got some stuff off the. Oh, it goes all the way down the side there. Well, let's keep going straight. We'll finish this, this general tour over and get into our deeper look as we finish out the day. Bigfoot greeting, gifting, and more. Need honey roasted pecans. Surprise, ain't honey roasted Bigfoot pecans today. One for seven dollars. Foothill Soup Company. I'm gonna lose. Gabby's. There's our old train depot down there. We showed that in the other town center video. Some shaved ice out here on the end. So this is the other end of it here. Where you'll come in. I'm trying to see the name of the road, but I don't see it. Where is it? Eh, I don't see the name of the road, but there's parking right down there. Now, I have a feeling this parking up in town. I found free parking right in town, but I got here earlier as the day goes on. There's some satellite parking that you can use outside of town, and they'll uh, ride you in here on a bus. But people seem to be still finding parking so far. It is a State Street. There's Bigfoot. And number one son and princess. <laughs> All right. That's your general tour, so let's do this. We got Bigfoot playing a guitar and singing right here at Henderson in Maine. <laughs> Kid looks a little scared. <laughs> All right, let's turn on down, Henderson. Check these vendors out. Just like we did Main Street, and then we'll start doing a little deep dive, looking at some of the products. See if we can find some more Bigfoot costumes playing playing guitars or just walking around and having a good time for the people coming by to visit. Yeah, cupcakes and all that. Yeah, Goodwill and all that. Yeah, this goes down to the train depot. And our farmer's market they have every year is right here. Or every Saturday, not every year. Or however, however often they have it, that's where you find that. All right, there's one look back. Uh, another look back up toward the main street. I'm going to start jumping in and out of these things, look at some of the products. And hope you enjoy the rest of this walk-talk tour of the 
Western North Carolina Bigfoot Festival. We've got plenty of artwork here. I like this red truck. Did you paint these? No. Okay. I like the red truck. It's beautiful. <laughs> I hope you do good today. I think you got a great crowd. <laughs> I think the rain's going to stay away. <laughs> Me too. They've got a good crowd around these metal signs and artwork. Got some yard ones laying there you can buy and stick up in the yard. I like the Bigfoot cross in there. That's pretty cool. A couple of them there. All kinds of signs. Woodwork too. This guy does great, great work. I'm assuming it's a guy. It could be a girl. He yeah, gets a whole selection of them there. <laughs> Beware. Bigfoot area. <laughs> He's selling them too. Good for him. Yeah, support these local crafts and they do good work. If you need a giant heifer, I guess, you can get that. And horses and all, flowers, pigs. Yeah, great little setup we got here. I really like this one right here. It's a different design they got. Hadn't seen that design in one before. Outlaws welcome, in-laws call first. <laughs> well, that's not for me. I get along good trait with my in-laws. Yeah, big dino there. <laughs> Got this general store, fly shop and outfitter right here on the main street. Got some big foot decor in there, beautiful store looks like in there. Make sure you stop in and check them out. <laughs> yeah, I like this shirt right here. Hide and seek world champion. Yeah, no doubt about that. He find Bigfoot, Big Z is being in bad shape. What we got over here? It's more meta work. I like that tank. Got a little travel trailer there. Little metal knickknacks for you. That's cool. fire pit if you want one of those you got pick a duck for a dollar winter every time for the kids that's good <laughs> a lot of down here here's some photos people have taken Bigfoot <laughs> yeah some photos there my question is, for most photos, is why are they blurry? You got all these cameras today, and every photo they get of them is blurry in a distance, shadowy. So that's what makes me question it. We got good cameras these days. If somebody sees one, they need to get a good picture so we can analyze that thing. Hey, it still might be him. I'm not going to say whether it was or not. He's a believer. Now this is the best Bigfoot artwork I've seen yet. Bad Betty Designs. Yeah, that's a good one right there. Did a good job on that one. I'll have to come back later and shoot the face when the sun's hitting it though. A lot of people bringing their kids and their animals today. I like that they got these booties on this one dog. A lot of people have their dogs out here on this hot asphalt. And it's rough on them, even their paws get hot. And you really got to think about that with your dog. If you can get them trained to do that when you're on the asphalt at least, I think that's a good idea. I know they got a little protection, but sometimes, I, especially on very hot days, I just feel for those animals. People are already up in the shade already here, and it's just after 10. 10.30 or so, I imagine. <clears throat> it's human, like I talked about earlier. All right, let's see what else they got. They got some homemade ornaments, $5. Signs are 12, I think that's a reasonable price. Got a Sasquatch way down there. Another name for Bigfoot. Believe on both sides, believe. Face painting for the kids, a lot of stuff for the kids to do here. This, these events always have things for the kids, those bounce houses and face painting, little ducks we saw earlier. 
That's a lot of cool stuff. You can see some of their designs right there. So they got like Second Amendment mats. Welcome to the nut house. Sometimes that's what I feel like my house is. We got two new puppies in the house now, and man, they coming in and out our little dog door. They bring in mud and dirt and everything. Yeah, but my wife loves them. I guess I do too. So this is that piece of artwork I saw a man carrying up the road earlier. So I guess he was selling it. He's got it lined up here at his booth. I don't see a price on it though. Sasquatch, meet Lily. Hey Sasquatch. Oh, I guess this is a girlfriend. Well, she's posing up sharp. Creep Geeks, Paranormal Weird, weird News, at their little booth here. You can get your temporary tattoo here, along with Bigfoot t-shirts. That's where you get the tattoos up there, I guess. Kids will love that. There's some portage eyes down there if you need to go to the bathroom while you're here. And there's some up at the other end where we started as well. I think the first year they had this in 2018, they wasn't expecting a very big crowd and they didn't, they were a little short on bathrooms, so they've made up for that now. All right, let's see what else we can find. What else we got here? More t shirts. Get you a mermaid. I like these little pieces here. Warner, protected by a Bigfoot. <laughs> Good job there. Search gear, all the shirts. For a little reference here, we're back over here where we started. That's that blue sign we looked at, and there's the community building. We're gonna turn and go down in this little parking lot where they got some food vendors, I think. Yeah, it smells good. Smells good. You got your lemonade stand there. Tender bites, blooming onions, gyro sauces. Got a lot down there. Let's turn out of here because they're getting ready to play some music pretty loud back there. Steak and cheese, nachos. Right here at the Wells Fargo in this parking lot. Straight ahead, they got one more vendor. Vendor. Let's see what they sell. There's a menu there. Bigfoot. Cheese steaks, eight, nine, nine, eight fifty. Y'all fine. That's pretty good prices there. Not unusual. Anything 10 and below the festival, I think, is pretty fair. Anything 10 and above, I don't. And yeah, I guess you got the money you want to spend it. Go ahead. If it's more than that. There's a funky Bigfoot here. <laughs> Bigfoot, Bigfoot mama. Bigfoot's mama loves buy you Billy sweet tea. There he is. He's ready to give you a fresh brew right there and one dollar on refills. Yeah. Not too bad. That's some ice cream here. And, uh, I don't see any prices, so I imagine it is high. <laughs> they don't show prices, I think I think high. I like to see prices. Alright, we got sausage 10, chicken 9. So everything they got is under 10, that's good. Alright, I just wanted you to get a idea of some prices. They got $12 noodles over there. Must be some good noodles for 12 bucks. <laughs> Alright, let's get back out in the street. Alright guys, here's your hot tip for the day right here at Sun Kiss Tanning. They're open seven days. You go inside there, they can get drinks for you, Cokes, cheer wines, water, whatever, for one dollar, no tax. Friendly people inside there. Friendly people all up and down this beautiful town. So come in here and check them out. They're three dollars out here on the street. But that's nice what they're doing in there. So make sure you check them out. If you live in town, come on in here and get you a tan.
We've got some music playing here to just finish up a nice 50 song it sounded like. Great little place to sit up in the shade and take a break. It's about 11, right? 11.30 to noon right now. If you decide you want something more than the vendors offer, you can stop in here at Krabby Abbey's Bar and Grill. Take a seat down in here like these gentlemen here are doing. Under the shade. Get some shirts here at How It Works. Pick designs, do all kinds of things. One for 25, two for 45. Leave the aliens. <laughs> Dude, I'm right here. Like I said earlier, it's around 11.30 now. You can see crowds all the way from one end of the street to the other. This thing's just getting started. I can imagine right after 12, 1, 2 o'clock, it's really going to be packed in here. So it pays to come a little early, I think. Still looking for another Bigfoot character. He is as elusive as the real one. Like I said earlier, only, I only found the guitar Bigfoot, so we'll keep looking. Well, I've tried. Did my best. I can't find another live Bigfoot nowhere. He's an elusive devil, that's for sure. Shh. There it is. I didn't think I'd ever see one, a Bigfoot. He's just standing there. Nobody's even looking at him. He must be invisible. Maybe that's why we can't find him. I think I'm the only one that sees him. Hope y'all enjoyed this Walker Talk Tour of the Western North Carolina Bigfoot Festival here in Marion, North Carolina. If you did, I appreciate it. If you'd like, subscribe, and share. Y'all take care. We have built a relationship.